Senator Menendez. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I, uh, it was a bittersweet uh, hearing for me. My uh, hermano, as we call each other, my brother, is uh, going to go serve the nation. Uh, he's going to leave the Senate, uh, who, where he has served with such distinction. And uh, for those of us who are Americans of Hispanic descent, it reduces our ranks by one. Uh, but I know we're going to have a strong advocate uh, in the administration. Now, I may not be a Westerner, Senator Salazar, but that doesn't make our part of the nation immune to the impact of the Interior Department. Uh, and so I have some provincial questions I want to ask you. But before that, I want to ask you an overarching question. I've heard you talk about energy, both as a member of this committee and in this new assignment. How do you see your role uh, in this galaxy of, uh, of uh, energy uh, advocates? Uh, how do you see the role of Carol Browner versus the role that you're going to play? Uh, and what role do you see yourself playing in this respect? Uh, thank you, uh, Senator Menendez, and uh, I, too, uh, will miss you greatly because uh, we've done so many things over the years and uh, will, frankly, have an opportunity to work on so many issues in, in, in the future. Um, you are an hermano brother, and uh, I will never forget that. I will also say formally in front of this committee for uh, the transcript of this hearing that uh, Bob Menendez speaks both English and Spanish a lot better than I do. <laughs> and so... Uh, you're not losing anything in terms of linguistic proficiency with my departure. I hope you're not filibustering <laughs> on my questions and my <laughs> provincial questions. <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, on your, uh, let me just, one observation and then a response to your question. I, I would hope that one of the things that you can do, uh, Senator Menendez and the rest of this committee, is not to look at this department as a department of the West, because it is not. It is as much a department of uh, the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island uh, as it is uh, uh, the the uh, department that oversees the BLM lands of New Mexico. And I think for far too long, uh, this department has uh, been seen as something off to the west. Uh, I want us to change that image and that brand for the Department of Interior. And I think this committee and on uh, the Democratic side and the Republican side is, uh, is uh, a primary engine of helping us change that reality of what the Department of Interior is, whether it's with respect to historic preservation or uh, the OCS or a whole host of other issues. So I, I, I would hope that you can help me do that. Secondly, with respect to your uh, specific question on uh, my role, in my uh, conversation and my agreement with uh, the president-elect is uh, I report to him. Uh, the president-elect uh, uh, asked me to leave uh, this United States Senate post to help him change the world. Uh, I believe he can change the world, and I believe he is a transformational figure that can help get that done. Uh, but I work for him. And uh, that means that uh, I will play a keystone role in uh, helping uh, craft the energy agenda. I would not have taken this job if uh, mm -hmm. I was not given the assignment uh, to help craft uh, the energy moonshot that we will take, in part through the uh, economic stimulus package that will be crafted, and then uh, through uh, energy legislation that uh, will hopefully be before uh, this Congress before too long. So uh, that's a kind of a robust uh, role that I, that, I, that I intend to play. It's a kind of robust role that was offered to me in this position. Well, I appreciate and look forward to that. Now, let me get to some specific issues that I, I, I want to uh, have you. Uh, will you make a commitment to come with me after you're settled in uh, to the New Jersey, New York region? We have two issues. The crown of the Statue of Liberty since September 11th uh, has been held to a bureaucratic shackle. Uh, to your credit, you offered an amendment that the president-elect voted for uh, to free up the Statue of Liberty, including the crown. So I hope you will come after you're the Interior Secretary with me to the Statue of Liberty, help me break the shackles on the crown, as well as to Ellis Island, which is next door, where we have a public-private partnership going on to restore the whole section of the island uh, that, in fact, is in New Jersey territorial waters as a result of a Supreme Court decision that was our whole public health system where immigrants who came through at that time went through there. But we've gotten some money to sustain it because it was totally ready to fall apart. Uh, but uh, we have a public-private partnership. It has languished with uh, the National Park Service. You know, we could get a very significant commitment from the private sector uh, to go in. So I hope you will come with me after you're settled in. Let us free the crown. I'm sure there's a, an intelligent way to do that. 
uh, for, for some type of limited uh, access to it. Uh, let us make sure that that private-private partnership works so that we can restore the whole L access to Ellis Island uh, on the side. And then finally, uh, I, I hope, as you know, I'm in the minority on this committee uh, on this issue, uh, but it is critical to my state uh, in terms of the issue of offshore drilling. New Jersey's second part of its economy is driven uh, by tourism, and that tourism would not take place except for the New Jersey shore. Several years ago, we had medical waste lined on our beaches, and that created a huge problem for our economy for several years. Uh, so I hope uh, that you will work with us and give coastal states like mine a seat at the table as we move forward on the question of what is appropriate in offshore drilling and what is not. Uh, Senator Cantwell. I'd be happy Mr. to Chairman, respond. Can I, oh, yes, can I uh, Senator Salazar, did you wish to respond? Response. Thank you. Go right ahead. I noticed that his time was up. That's why I, I looked to you for permission. <laughs> I see. I thought you were looking uh, for me to move on to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, me, let me just uh, no, respond, don't, if uh, I may, Chairman. Disrespect. <laughs> on, <laughs> I, I'm, well, I'm well aware of that. <laughs> let me... Uh, First, say that uh, with respect to uh, Alice Island and the Statue of Liberty, first I do commit to coming uh, to, with you to uh, New Jersey and uh, New York and visiting uh, those sites and understanding more about why those restrictions uh, were put into place. I don't know enough about why those restrictions were put into place, but we will frankly examine those together and uh, make the appropriate decisions on how we move forward. I understand uh, the historicity and uh, great importance of Ellis Island, and uh, we'll make sure that that's uh, a priority in terms of how we move uh, forward in, uh, in, in, in my department. Let me, uh, on uh, your last point, which I think is uh, the one that I have seen you get passionate about at least uh, a dozen or so times on the floor of the U.S. Senate the last several years, and that's on the OCS, and making sure that the stakeholders are at the table. Uh, the answer to that is yes. Um, you know, we need to make sure that as uh, we move forward with uh, a comprehensive energy plan that might include uh, drilling in some areas uh, on the OCS, uh, that uh, those uh, communities and those states that are going to be most affected uh, certainly have a voice and are at the table. 